got a few minutes here, so I wanted to do a quick demonstration in my 2005 uh, Dodge Ram 2500. It's got a 5.9 Cummins motor in it, and uh, the test I want to do involves the launch iCar scan that I picked up. Um, it's like a dealer level scan tool that uh, pairs with your Android or um, or your uh, iPhone and you can set a bunch of cool options and stuff like that run the dealer level tests uh, before we get into that though uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below I need all the subscribers that I can get on my channel okay so getting into the test here um, first step is this little guy plugs into your OBD2 port uh, under the dash here which can be kind of hard to get to when you're sitting in the truck that will top out show you the port so there it is right there Plug that guy in. We'll come back up to the phone. We got to start the app up on the phone here. And let's see where we at. Easy diag. Turn the ignition off. Okay, full system scan. Chrysler. We got a 16 pin connector. Manually select because it goes a lot faster. Ram truck. And we're going to go into PCM. So I'm going to put you on pause for just a second because that takes a minute to uh, get through and uh, get fully connected. All right, so we came back up uh, after about a minute. And uh, so this is the options that come up here. And uh, we're going to go into special function. Oh, actually, actuation tests. Oh, wrong on all, all counts. It's a uh, system test we got to go into. And, um, Let's see, cylinder performance test is the one we're looking for. And it's going to tell me i got to start the truck up. So to do this test, uh, your engine should be warm. You should be set back to stock uh, if you've been running a custom tune. And then um, they say it's good to take it out and run it kind of hard before you do this test. Mine's not going to come out uh, really showing that it's that balanced just because uh, I have a custom tune in there right now. It's going to kick up the RPMs here. Okay, so we'll activate the test. So you can see those numbers, those are pretty far off from where you'd want to be on an actual balance test. So with a fully warm engine on my truck and putting it back to stock, those numbers come way back in line. Um, what you're looking for is the numbers that are kind of far from, you know, you want your numbers to be within a couple points of 100. If you're seeing numbers like this, 110, basically what that's telling you is that the solenoid is either having to hold the injector open longer to get the desired amount of fuel or it's shutting it off too soon to get the desired amount of fuel so basically for whatever reason the injector whichever injector it is um, is putting too much fuel in for the allotted time or not enough uh, indicating some kind of problem with the uh, injector itself uh, one of the tricky things about this test is it may not be that injector that injector may be compensating for another injector so what you have is uh, you also have an injector kill test that can help you uh, narrow that down. But I'm not an expert on running this test. Um, there's uh, a lot more YouTube videos out there uh, that you should look at before you run that test. I just want to do a quick demonstration. So you can see that it, it continually updates there. I wonder what will happen if I hit the gas. Yep, it kicks the test off. It 
doesn't like that. So we can go back in, start the test up again. There we are, back on the test. All right, so that's the launch iCar scan uh, cylinder contribution test on a 5.9 Cummins engine. Ideally, you want to see numbers way better than that, uh, closer to 100. Mine's off because I have that custom tune in there. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, hit the share button. I picked this uh, tool up for, I think it lists for about 200 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I got it for $50 off because I opened up a credit card, which I'm never going to use, and uh, bought it with that, and then just paid it off right away. So there's a $50 discount out there uh, if you want it. But it does a lot of cool stuff. It's got the injector kill test, got um, the contribution test. You can change the daylight um, or the daytime running lights. Uh, you can change whether the seatbelt beeper beeps at you, uh, your door lock speed, all that stuff. So all that DRB3 dealer level stuff uh, this thing can do. And uh, I'll probably do some more videos uh, showing some of those other tests and uh, functions. So anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, hope to uh, see you again. Thank you.